So as we've taken a look at the property, we've talked about um, what you want to accomplish. We've got the market analysis done. We know what the value probably should be. And the next thing we want to do is the paperwork, right? You have to hire me to work for you. Some people do this uh, in the beginning. Some people do it later. Again, especially if you've never worked with me, I think we ought to spend a little time together and get to know each other before we go ahead and get married, right? Before we jump through the, the legal contracts. So first we're gonna talk about you hiring me. We do a specific form. It's called the exclusive right to sell listing contract. An exclusive right to sell listing contract is what everyone says, hires the listing agent to put the property on the market on behalf of the seller. Right? And then there's a whole bunch of paperwork that you get to fill out. Some of it I'll do uh, for you, some I cannot do for you, but we'll have the square footage disclosure. If it's older than 1978, we'll have the lead-based paint disclosure. With my company, we do a mold disclosure. Um, we do uh, another one that, that is um, really, really exciting, right? The seller's property disclosure. Seller's property disclosure is a form that is uh, designed to cover your backside and make sure that you tell the potential buyers all of the things that are great and all the things that are not great about the house so there are no surprises. Uh, if there's something that's wrong with the property, you're gonna use this form to tell them that. I cannot help you with this form. I cannot fill it out for you. It's six pages long, it takes a little while. Um, but it's totally worth the time. Okay? Um, there's a few other things that, that we can go with this depending on the type of property, but you'll fill out all these disclosures and then we'll have them available so we can send them to the potential buyers or potential buyers agent uh, when the need arises.